Hi friends, today I'm going to tell you something about the Ambu bag. You can see this is the Ambu bag and uh, this is the inlet and uh, here on the uh, this is the outlet. Here we attach the mouthpiece and uh, you can see the two kind of valve are there. Inside here you can see a valve is present which is having a fish mouth like appearance. You can see when we compress over here it opens slit like opening over here you can see which through uh, air inside and uh, when the pressure increases suppose you have to give the uh, compression like this uh, inspiration one two one two then if you are doing it it's very hard then what happens that here this is the safety valve you suppose you give uh, pressure uh, with the high pressure then it then pops up for example you will see here can't you see yes you can see now so here if anyhow more pressure is given to the baby then the lungs can burst and can cause the pneumothorax so this is being prevented by this safety valve respiratory pressure should be around 35 centimeter of water the maximum pressure uh, when it exceeds the air leaks from this valve and here in the uh, inlet yeah, here you need to attach the reservoir <laughs> and here you need to attach the oxygen and you can see that we can open it so that you can clean it and you can attach overly you can open this valve also stay tight showing you so that it can be sterilized you can see this is a valve Can't it? normally air in the oxygen is about 21 percent so when we squeeze the bag uh, oxygen pressure is normally 21 percent over there the concentration of oxygen is there so so as to increase the concentration we attach the reservoir and the oxygen when we squeeze it becomes more uh, oxygen percentage in concentration increases further to 40 percent so normally while resuscitating the baby we should give the oxygen flow at the rate of five to six liter per minute squeeze it about 15 times so that inside air has been removed and it is filled with 100 percent oxygen and you should apply the mask Take the proper size of marks and apply it correctly so that it must cover your upper part of chin, mouth and nose but never eyes. 